I hear, I heard, I don't know if this is true or not, but I'm hearing something about Halloween in New York that the rule is that, like, like, people can go to your house, like, kids can trick-or-treat and get candy, but no one's allowed to wear a costume. Which, it seems like it should be the opposite of that, logically, right? Like, I would think that kids touching, like, everyone, the candy that everyone else is touching, I would think that would be a lot more dangerous than simply wearing a costume, no? Yeah, like, you gotta wear a mask anyway, you might as well wear a fucking creepy mask. But they're like, oh no, you got, uh, you can, everyone can touch the same fucking candy from strangers, but not in a costume. No, no sense made. That just seems like you're asking for trouble to have it set up like that, don't worry. I, I, all I know is, there's definitely gonna be, like, like, I'm in New York, there's definitely gonna be, like, a ton of, like, secret, like, fucking Halloween clubs and shit like that. It's gonna be a fucking shit show, for sure. There's probably, like, more so than any other holiday, like, some kind of, like, a post-Halloween fucking disaster. Yeah, you think, well, you think the one advantage of Halloween this year, I mean, you know, children would stay the fuck away from my home. I feel like, though, like, the last several years, you haven't even really seen that many kids around doing Halloween. I feel like, like, Halloween, like, for kids at least, used to be, like, made, like, a lot more big of a deal than it is anymore. Like, they even, I remember they had, like, these, like, one thing that sticks out to me about, like, Halloween back in the day was, like, there was, like, this special on it, with, like, it was, like, a promotional thing, it was literally just a, a movie they made to promote Snickers, I think. And the aliens were like, oh, we need Kubi. <laughs> Right! And now Gizborn will be stopped, the factory won't have to close, and we can make tons more Kubi. I mean, candy. And everyone's like, what the fuck is Kubi? And then it turns out it's candy. Like, specifically Snickers candy. I might be remembering this wrong, but I think that was the thing. And I just remember there being so much promotional shit like that. I remember, I think it was in kindergarten, I had this, like, shitty fucking Ninja Turtles costume. And it was like, it was like this weird material. That it just sat down the whole fucking like Ninja Turtle ass ripped apart. That was a shitty cop. Actually, I feel like even when I was a kid, I didn't really do cool shit for Halloween. I don't remember which Ninja Turtle it was. I think it was Leonardo. For some reason, I seem to remember it being like an orange Michelangelo thing. But I don't think, like, there's ever a point where Michelangelo was my favorite. It was, like, Leonardo and then Raphael. But in my head, I just remember it being a Michelangelo, so it might have just been a Michelangelo for whatever reason. See, the past several years, I just had a Ness costume. And every year, I'm like, I'm gonna do something different. And then, like, Halloween gets closer and closer, and then it's like, oh, I guess I, I didn't do anything different. Ness again. One year I had, like, kind of like a bootleg fucking Bret Hart costume that was basically just the shades. Uh, like a hooded leather jacket that isn't even, like, the right kind of jacket and some jean shorts. But Ness is the standard. I didn't even have a pink tank, I just had a Bret Hart t-shirt. One year I was going to do a solid snake costume, but I, I never got around to getting the parts together for that one. I wouldn't be surprised that, I mean, I, no one's doing shit for Halloween this year, really, but... Yo, there- I feel like a cum jar costume is always, like, a very real possibility, for sure. Wouldn't take- you, all you need is a jar to walk around in. 